I've got to ask you, right, the first question right out the gates, uh, you took a very brief retirement, but why'd you decide to come back? You know, um, life in general actually has been very positive. Um, at home's been nice. Uh, you know, I went through a very bad relationship, uh, mm -hmm. and I think it was kind of hindering uh, just my mindset to, as a fighter, and I kind of lost myself. Um, it was kind of like sitting in a, a fishbowl, and the fishbowl got murky. Took myself out of the fishbowl, and I'm looking at looking down, and that murky water, do I want to go back into it? No. I stepped back and started realizing that, you know, training was fun again. Getting back in the gym, working and training, it, it was fun. Your name, obviously, is one of the few names synonymous with your previous employer. Um, it had to have been a, a pretty difficult decision to leave that organization and then, you know, go to Bellator. Um, it wasn't really that difficult of a decision, just because I got sick of getting bullied. You know, uh, saying that I was afraid to fight guys, um, saying that I wouldn't step up and out and fight. Um, a lot of things uh, during an Ultimate Fighter season 11, saying that I was afraid to fight Chuck Liddell. The Bad Blood DVD saying that uh, I was stripped from my world title. There were so many things that was just uh, lies that I couldn't understand that a company would um, abuse and bully um, a champion as myself. Uh, the way they did. Yeah, there was a moment though that, that you guys had a good relationship. It, it was a long great moment who had a great relationship. I, mean, I remember when he was my manager. He was battling for the same things that I would battle against them for uh, for my career. When I retired I expected the UFC to come to me as you know um, give me a job, give me an opportunity working with the business and they never did. And right now uh, Bellator came to me with the opportunity that it just wasn't about the fight career. It wasn't um, just about getting in a cage and competing against another man. They got, gave me an idea of uh, getting into the acting, uh, paying for an acting coach, uh, getting into professional wrestling, work with my clothing company, Punishment Athletics. And I just stepped back and I go, wow, why wouldn't UFC have done this for me many years ago? They never did. And I just uh, bit my tongue and I just like was like, you know what? I got to take care of my kids. My kids are number one. Um, and that's just the way I made the next step. And I said, sat down with Bjorn uh, Redmi from uh, Bellator. You know, and he showed me the deal with them and Viacom, and it was an offer I pretty much couldn't refuse. And all of a sudden, I'm fighting one of my former uh, training partners and really a really, really good friend of mine, Rampage. A lot of fans are saying this is a dream match, right? Because, I mean, you guys are, again, these two mammoths, these two legends in the sport, and you fight in the same weight class. You've never hooked it up. And here you are, you're getting in, the, in there and, and, and scrapping now. Uh, when they approached you with this fight, what did you think? Because as you mentioned, you do have a personal relationship with Rampage. Well, um, I, I got to correct you here. Actually, the first eight years of our careers, we actually did scrap every single day in the gym. <laughs> okay. We put a headgear on, we okay. punched, and we kicked. I mean, All right. But we never were at our 100% um, in the gym. Rampage is an entertainer. I'm an entertainer, and we're fighters. We go in and we put our... Our life's on the line, we go out and fight. We want to entertain the fans who are buying the pay-per-view. Let me ask you this. Uh, a lot of critics, of course, are going to point to the fact that you guys are a little longer in the tooth. You guys are definitely veterans of this sport. Um, and, and again, both of you guys are coming off of losses. The critics will say, listen, these guys, they don't have much left. I'm not interested in this fight. What would you say to those critics? I'd say those critics, you guys never fought before. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the cage and compete. We've put on a show each and every time we compete, and we'll do the same thing on November 2nd. I'm healthy. I want to fight. Um, I'm interested to fight. I no longer have a, a boss on my shoulder heckling me, bullying me. I have a boss on my shoulder who support me and ask me, text me every day, hey, how you doing? You doing better? You doing okay? You doing good today? You need anything? And it's nice to have that support. Obviously, when it comes to, to, to Rampage, a lot of folks question his, his motivation sometimes in fights. It sounds like he has really rededicated himself and is really looking again to put on a show. When you heard about him going and, and taking his camp down in Mexico, training his butt off, uh, how much did that motivate you? Um, you know, I think the motivation in general is just uh, in myself. It's uh, showing that I still have it, that I still can compete. Um, training is fun again. You know, I, I don't need Rampage to motivate me at mm -hmm. all. I motivate myself. My children motivate me. My fans motivate me. When I get in the cage and I compete, I know that I'll be in great shape. I know I'll be ready for three five-minute rounds. You know, we're doing five five-minute rounds, no problem at all. It's actually seven. But I'm going to make it exciting. And, and I know he'll do the same thing, too. He's going to try to knock my head off. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, I'll take him down, and I'm going to elbow his face off. I'm here to put on a show. I've been doing it for over uh, 16 years, and I think I'm not going to let any fans down. I haven't uh, yet in any pay-per-view I've ever done. You know, my last fight, we got fight of the, of the night. Yeah. I plan on getting fight of the night of this uh, fight also. So uh, I'm just very, very excited, very positively motivated, uh, healthy, ready to compete uh, against Rampage. And it's just 
too bad that he's one of my really good friends. Maybe after the fight, we'll go uh, have a drink together. A couple but, ice packs and a couple beers. I, you know what? You never know. Um, <laughs> but on November 2nd, uh, when it's fight time, yeah. I'm getting my hand raised. It's Bellator's very first pay-per-view. Uh, do you feel any pressure there? Because, it, it, you know, a lot, of, a, a lot of insiders are saying, listen, if this thing doesn't go too well, maybe Bellator doesn't have another pay-per-view. Um, there's no worries. Um, I've been through many pressures through my whole career. Many places that I've done the same thing with another company, I believe I could do the same thing with this company. Okay. Uh, and Rampage has shown every one of his fights that he competes and he goes out to put on a show. He does. I'm going to do the same thing also. And I believe, you know, the whole card underneath it, Mike Chandler versus Eddie Alvarez, that was fight of the year 2012. That's an awesome fight for... Oh, it's going to be a barn uh, burner. I mean, that's for a title. I mean, it's yeah. a title fight. So all the way up and down the whole card. I mean, not only just getting me and Rampage, there's so many other fights underneath the card that are going to be amazing. It's going to be a great uh, event for people to watch.